The oven is still at 375. Oops. <laughs> Sweet. everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tubby Time. Today I'm going to be making lemon meringue pie cupcakes. Now I know Josh hates lemon, but these aren't for him. My coworker is actually leaving and moving away, so I am making these for her. Hopefully they turn out well because I've never made them before. So let's get started. So real quick, I just want to show you this awesome zester that Josh bought me. Look at that, it's already working. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I had to make lemon pound cake, I didn't have a zester and I had to use a peeler. It was really difficult and this is amazing. It's collecting it too. Oh wait, where's my little collector? This goes on here somehow and then it collects it. It smells so good. I can already tell this is gonna be a great recipe. I don't know, I think that's about good. Yeah, we'll say that's good. Now we are going to move to the lemon filling. We're gonna start off with a small saucepan over low heat. We are going to add six egg yolks, sugar, flour, and just a couple of pinches of salt. And we are going to whisk this. I'm not sure for how long. We're just gonna whisk a little bit. It looks really dry. I'm assuming I should just whisk it until it's all mixed. This feels like it's getting really hot. Yeah, because you're probably on Oh, it's on high. Oh, great. Oh, Lord. Start over. Our stovetop is very difficult. It's backwards. Oh, my God. It smells like cooked eggs. It smells like scrambled eggs. Oh, it's, it's looking better. Now that the eggs are cooked. It's looking a little bit more liquidy. I feel like there are some cooked pieces of eggs in there though. I think we saved it in time. It doesn't look too bad. I see a couple little like scrambled egg pieces, but it'll be fine. So we are putting this on low heat. Now we're gonna add the lemon juice. We need to add the zest. Oops. You need to keep whisking also. Whisk that some more. And you add the water and melted butter. And now we have to turn this on medium. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit higher. And you just wanna whisk constantly until it starts to thicken. I feel like some of the sugar burned on the bottom. I can feel it. So finally, after 15 minutes, it's thickened. There are some burnt pieces, I think just from the sugar in the beginning when the heat was too high. But I think it looks good. I think this is how it's supposed to look. Um, I did have to turn the heat up a little bit more and I stopped whisking so much and that's when it actually started to thicken. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side, gonna let it sit, and now we're gonna start the cupcake portion. Sorry my, my workstation is a little messy. I don't feel like cleaning it up. To start off with... Ah! To start off with the cupcakes, we are going to beat butter and sugar together. We'll say that looks good. Now we're gonna add the eggs. I'm a pro now. <laughs> 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 
No shell in there. Gonna add the lemon juice. Ooh, good thing I read that. I was gonna do four tablespoons of baking powder and it's teaspoons. Did I mess up any other time? Salt. And flour. Gonna beat this together. cake portion. Now I just gotta divvy them up in these little things. And the microphone cut out. I don't know what I'm saying. Assuming it has to do with the batter, looking a little thick. We're just gonna go with it. Hopefully it turns out all right. Just gonna put a spoonful in each cupcake thing and we'll see how much batter we have left at the end. I'll even them out and just use it all. Oven is set to 375, we're gonna put these in. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna put my timer on for seven minutes so I can switch. You think I should switch? Yeah, probably. Okay. Or should I do it like this, like staggered? Yeah. Yeah, and then in seven minutes, I'll flip them, okay. While the cupcakes are baking, 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 we're going to add our egg whites our sugar, and just a pinch of salt, maybe two pinches of salt, and beat this up until stiff peaks form. What do you think? It looks stiff. A little bit more? You think that's good? No, I think it's good. Okay. Kind of looks like fluff. Marshmallow fluff. We're going to let this sit and then we will put all the cupcakes together when they're out of the oven. So the cupcakes have been in for 17 minutes so far. That one was fine. Try this one. Okay, not bad. Let's take them out. One thing to keep in mind, do not turn the oven off when you take the cupcakes out. They actually have to go back in when we put the meringue on the top. These should sit and cool five minutes or so, not long. So we're gonna let them rest and then we'll go from there. So the cupcakes have been sitting for five minutes. They're still warm, but that's okay. I'm just taking a knife and hollowing out the center. You wanna make sure not to go too far down because you don't wanna go all the way to the, the bottom cupcake paper. It doesn't look too pretty, but no one's gonna see it anyway. I'm trying to make the holes in the center a little big because I think the lemon filling is really good. And last time I filled cupcakes, I had a lot of filling left over and I wanna make sure I use everything I made. All of these are hollowed out. I have a reusable pastry bag that I'm gonna use for the lemon filling. The only reason I'm saying reusable is because it's thicker. The, paste, the uh, lemon filling is still a little warm, so I know it's not gonna melt through or anything. I think you're gonna use all of that? I don't know, there's a lot. It made a lot of lemon filling. I'm pretty happy about the size of the holes I made in the center. I feel like I always make it too small. There's never enough, but I think these will be pretty good. We'll just see if I went too far down or not. Look at that. So there is more lemon filling. That's all right, I'll figure out something to do with it. Yeah, because, you know, we use lemon filling for anything. I'm just going to beat this up a little bit more. So now we have to evenly divide the meringue on top of the cupcakes. I'm not sure if I should just pile them. Something like that. That seems efficient. 
Right? <laughs> I don't know how it's supposed to look. Right? That that looks better. Yeah. I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of this too. And we can definitely make like you know <laughs> stuff out of meringue. That's just delicious. You can put it on your ice cream. Nice coffee ice cream with lemon meringue. <laughs> Instead of whipped topping, lemon meringue. I really don't know if there's an easier way to do this. Probably with one of your pastry things. Like another bag, a pastry bag? Maybe. But afterwards, you have to like go like this, so you got the little mini peaks, you know? So what I'm doing now is taking the side of a knife and putting it on the meringue and just pulling it up. It's not working too great, but what, it, what it's supposed to do is get little teeny peaks, kind of like that. There's no point there, or no purpose, I guess, for it, just to make it look a little prettier. But it's not really doing much. We do have some leftover, not as much as the filling. Okay, we are going to put these back in the oven for just maybe five minutes. We want these to get a little golden, a little dark, and then we'll be done. The oven is still at 375. Oops. <laughs> Sweet. The cupcakes have been in the oven for another six minutes. The little teeny peaks that raised up from the when I was doing the knife thing actually started to get golden brown. You can see little ones over here. I don't want to keep them in the oven any longer to see if they'll get more brown because I don't want the cupcakes to cook anymore. So we're going to say this is good. They didn't get brown, whatever. So we're done. I'm going to put them in the fridge now. You're supposed to let them cool for at least an hour. You can keep them in the fridge until you're ready to eat them. You can take them out after an hour, whatever you want to do. So once we do that, we will do our taste test and see how it is. So these have been sitting in the fridge for a few hours. It's okay if they sit longer than an hour, as long as it's not less than. They look cute. We're gonna cut it in half. I actually just took these out of the fridge, so if they're a little cold, then maybe they should sit after taking them out for a little bit. Get it right up in there. It's disgusting lemon It is mess. not disgusting. So nothing looks burnt. The bottom is nice. Cut it in half and see what it looks like. <gasps> Doesn't that look perfect? Look at that filling. Gorgeous. You want this half? I don't want either half. You just need to take a bite. You don't have to eat the whole half. Ready? That was really good. That lemon filling is so good. It's like a lemon curd. The top doesn't taste like much. Sweet meringue. The cake tastes a little dense. Not bad that. though. How do you eat this? I think it's really good. I think she's going to be happy. That's great. I hope she does because I don't want them. I hope she is. Yeah, perfect. I'm happy. Good recipe. Yeah, sure. We better with chocolate filling and chocolate frosting or <laughs> vanilla frosting and chocolate filling or vanilla filling and chocolate frosting. Anything but lemon or orange or... I'd even do a broccoli filling. That's how much I hate lemon. No. Yep. Make this recipe. You will love it. This does not matter. Thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, comment, ignore fatty. And we'll see you next time on Tubby Time. Till next time, stay tubby.